Ever wonder how much you can charge a Tesla with nothing but sunshine? Okay, so charging has finished. So this is exciting. This is promising. Well, I've done it, kind of. And today I'm showing you how solar power is fueling my ride, saving me money and helping the planet, hopefully. Last year, I covered over 40,000 miles all over North America, pushing the car hard, traveling to some of the most remote stretches without a spare. Soon, we'll be departing into Mexico. Good morning. Welcome to, oh jeez, <laughs> welcome to Arizona. It's winter, it's cold, it's negative but three degrees right now. And last night we spent the night here. It's been so quiet being out and about. I love spending time in, in the outskirts of cities. And if today's the first time we've met, my name is Sandro. I live full time out of this Tesla Model X. And over the last two years, I have roamed all over North America. And today we're glad that you're here. So. I want to test out something that I've been thinking about for about a week or so is with this new solar setup that I have right here with the solar modules. So these are 220 20 watts solar panels from me to solar. They specialize in making custom panels for solar expeditions, for solar races. And I put these on top of my car, on top of the hood to see what can I get out of it because not necessarily in charging the car that was actually not initially the real thought process behind it it was to charge the EcoFlow Delta Mac that I have in the back of the car because I spent so much time with the car and away from the car I wanted to make sure that whenever I'm away from it that my EcoFlow keeps being charged because with the new software update now if you if the car is completely turned off all the plugs inside including the 12 volts DC in the back are completely shut off which means my EcoFlow is not charging. And now with this and that, we can charge the EcoFlow, which is exciting. Half the battery, about 100% right now, I think, about, let's actually take a look. So it's the EcoFlow is down below here. Let's see. Okay, so right now it's at 96%. We're getting about 32 watts of input from that guy up there and it's really cool because if you really think about it it takes about eight and a half minutes for the sunlight to hit the earth so technically we're looking back into time it's crazy if you really think about it i don't know that just came through my mind yesterday when i was just stargazing out and about here first thing first is get a coffee make a coffee because it's cold and my brain needs to warm up a little bit and then we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna reorient the car to make sure we have optimized angle for the sun and then go from there and see how much juice we can get back. Because last night I did lose about, we started off with 51%, right now we're 35%. So it's about, we lost about 16%. So about 30 miles or so lost. But you know, I don't really care because that was nice and cozy. But this is Beluga. Uh, she is a 2023 Tesla Model X long range five seater. I've driven this car pretty much to every single state except for Hawaii. And what's bonkers too is there has been little to no maintenance on this car besides little funny stuff that I've done. <laughs> Off-roading. Yeah, getting my stuck in mud a bunch of times. But besides that, the car is held up really well. A well-traveled Tesla. And I think one of the world's first solar integrated Teslas. Yeah, I think it's appropriate to introduce the team, right? <laughs> Not just myself. <laughs> yeah, but I think Beluga is really the star of this show, of this channel for sure. So you're probably wondering why I have two coffee cups right now. Is one, it's for my hands. When it's this cold outside, um, <laughs> I freeze pretty quickly. So I have this metal cup where I just hold it and my hands are nice and warm and toasty. And then I make the rest of my coffee in here. It's a little camper's trick, I think. I do really appreciate 
the the seasonal changes as much as it really changes the game of living in your car in the winter. But actually, excuse me, sorry, out of your car. I prefer that verbiage than living in my car because as much time as I spend in it, I do spend a lot of time out of it. So let's check what our input is right now for the EcoFlow, 42 watts right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorient the car so that it has a better angle to the sun because right now it's sideways. I also think the hardest thing about road life is keeping stuff clean. So this is pretty much my rack that I use to clean everything with, everything. It's really nasty, but I wanna keep things as tidy as possible inside. Exterior, I don't care how dirty it is, but inside I wanna keep things as clean livable as possible. <laughs> oh! Oh man. Every time. Okay, great. <laughs> this angle to the sun, we're getting about 106 watts right now. That's Cool, so that's double the amount that I had previously. It says it's gonna take about two hours to completely fill the EcoFlow, so right now it's about 93%. But we're gonna start the test right now. It's still a little bit more realistic, and we learned a lot from our last test last week or so. So definitely jot it those down. Don't start a fire. <laughs> the angle, so if I put it higher, oh wow. 180 watts right now. All right, but it is a lot colder now too, so I think that would help with keeping the EcoFlow cold, colder. And then I'm gonna dial back the amperage as well while the car is plugged in. We have the mobile connector. And then my arsenal of charging equipment. So I need just a regular 515, yeah. Just a regular. Mobile connector. There we go. And then the grounder, legendary. So this is a very important piece because otherwise the car detects a fault. There we go. See, it came on. Test number two, pretty much, because last week it was kind of test number one. I have my fire extinguisher out here, <laughs> just in case. Probably don't really need it, but you never know. Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Maryland, Monroe. Ryan started the fire. Don't need to kindle up my home. And then I ended up moving the, the sub trunk cover so there's more ventilation going in. So the battery doesn't overheat like happened last time. Thankfully, nothing serious happened. <sighs> Okay, there we go. And I do actually read all the comments. Oh! <laughs> that was a little bit crazy. A lot of dust. But I do read all the comments, even though it's not really a healthy habit of mine. I do read them because there's some truth in them. So I took some of that feedback and that's why we're doing this test like that today. First thing that we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna lower the amperage put in, being put in. So, we're gonna do 10 amps instead of 12 to see how the battery does. If I have the EcoFlow, we're getting 112 watts of input and doing 1.2 kilowatts of output charging the car. Interesting to see how long this will take. See, estimated time remaining is about an hour and a half. In the meantime, that Beluga is getting her spa day with premium solar juice, the photons from the sky. I think I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna take care of myself as well and clean this mustache off. And while we wait for Beluga to charge up, let's talk about today's sponsor, LastFit. Hey everyone, quick question. Have you been caught with a flat or low tire pressure when you're out on the road? Well, let me introduce you to Last Fit Tire Inflator because this is a game changer. This thing is compact, easy to use, and super powerful. It plugs right into your car's 12 foot outlet and with this digital display, you can set the exact pressure you need. It even shuts off auto 
So essentially, whenever it reaches the PSI that you desire, it turns off. So no more overinflating your tires. I love to go off-roading, so I usually deflate my tires to a lower PSI. But once I get back on city streets, I want to have fuel economy, right? So having this essentially makes that a lot easier than I don't have to find a gas station to do it again. And this really does <laughs> decrease my anxiety because it is so powerful. It is so useful and so practical. Whether you live out of your vehicle or just running errands, this is the peace of mind that I think you need. And it's not just for your car. Use it on bikes, sports equipment, and inflatable toys. Plus, it is so lightweight and practical, it's easy to store. So, check out the link down below in the description to get your exclusive discount. And thank you so much for Last Ridge for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now, let's get back to the paid programming, right? Okay, so charging has finished. So this is exciting, this is promising. I'm telling you, this is pretty cool. Okay, so right now we're at 1%. We're still getting about 150 watts of solar input right here. The battery has shut off. As you can see from this side, completely turned off as well. So that, that's fine. That was not needed, thank God. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, so this is awesome. So now we have 119 miles. We started with 113 miles. We've gained about six miles right there. There's your evidence. This is so cool because that essentially means that I have six miles. So which is about true. There's about, it's a two kilowatt hour battery pack. So there's about six miles of juice in there. Plus with the solar input, I probably got a little bit more to cover some of the efficiency loss. But this is awesome. Yeah, so now actually what I wanna do is I wanna drive into town and see what are solar, to kind of showcase the solar input when I'm driving, how practical it really is. Because obviously I could have flexible panels and lay them out, but that was the whole point of this, is to have them on there where I don't have to do anything except find some sun. This is super, super neat. This is like my obsession, my obsession. Like the apps that I use per week pretty much mostly go to the EcoFlow. <laughs> you know, and a Tesla app, obviously. Wow. See, wow, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. What's up with all these shotgun shells? Why can't people just clean up after? themselves. Wow. So necessary. Oh, I hate people sometimes really. People man. How can you leave? the earth like this like nothing against sh shooting your guns and like, improving your shop but why not just clean up after yourself it's not that hard okay so right now we're getting about 30 watts which isn't a lot but it also is <laughs> if you really think about it the sun is in the other side of the car so we're not getting that much sunlight right now but it is still nice that while I'm driving that the EcoFlow is being charged. And I could couple it again with the DC in the back and get about 130, 140 watts of input. But the whole point of this is to actually allow the EcoFlow to charge using pure solar. So it's super exciting. So some of you asked how you guys can support my expeditions and well, you guys can check out my Patreon. I do release there some more information about my road trips, what's coming up, my next projects. And I have my charging map and some of the places that I like to visit. Like I have the GPS coordinates of the place I was just at. So if you guys want to have access to that, go check out my Patreon. And just simply by watching my videos, spending time with us, the 20% of you that keep watching till the very end, thank you so much because you guys are really the fanatic supporters of my channel. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being with us today. And next time I see you guys, it will be in a different location, probably doing the same kind of things. And I've learned that officially I am a dirtbag. 
a gypsy and I'm proud of it. <laughs> this is kind of the way I live my life. And just like the eagles say it, take it easy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.